and welcome to a fishing video. Today I'm at Passy's Pond, in Passy's Ponds I should say, near Lansing, um, well sort of near Sher she get to Shoreham Airport and then turn off and drive down that road for a few miles and uh, you get here. And today I'm on the Match Lake, there's three lakes here, the Match Lake, the big lake where they have all the carp in, the big carp, there's carp in here as well, um, and there's a kids fishing lake called Pamela's Pond. Um, but I have only ever come here and fished on the Match Lake, which is pretty big. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can catch some fish. I've just been and uh, dipped my net and um, landing mat, which is just up there in that black tank there. That's where the main lake is. Um, I'm fishing on the Match Lake today. And then next door, that's uh, Chandler's Pond, which is like a kid's pond, which I've never actually been up there. Um, apparently it's very easy to catch on there. So this is where I'm fishing. So the match lake goes all the way down there and then snakes all the way around to here. It's pretty big. I'll see if I can get an image up on um, Google Maps to show you just how big it is. So this is going to be the spot where I'm going to fish, which is basically the first peg as you come through the gate, which is handy because if you're lazy bringing your kit. Um, at the moment I'm the only one here. I'm sure there'll be some others turn up in a bit. And I've noticed the water is incredibly blue. Um, they must have done something to it. Are these are the rules. It is 12 pounds for a day ticket here. Um, on the big lake, that's mainly where the carp fishermen go. They've got big carp in there. I think that's about 30 pounds, I believe. Um, join the Passies Facebook group as well because people post on there a lot and it's good to keep up to date because sometimes they've started having matches again on, on the lake so some days it's closed or if they're doing maintenance or whatever so you can make sure it's open before you come um, but yeah mainly carp fishermen on the big lake I've never fished the big lake yet I want to but I'm not sure if you can with a pole or not um, you have to have a cradle for the big lake and I think a 42 inch landing net um, or for the match lake you need um, an unhooking mat and I'm not sure what inch the net is it does say on the website but anyway I've got all of that um, so today I've got my unhooking cradle that I'm going to use and uh, my net I'm not sure how many inches my landing net is box pole landing net handle coffee I'll put the coffee in there yes um, Right, let's get set up. I'll show you what I'm going to use and let's see if any fishes want to come and bite. Last time I came here I didn't catch a lot but it was December. So hopefully now it's warmed up a little bit they might be a bit more lively. <laughs> set up I only recently got back into fishing last year so um, and I'm pretty lazy so <laughs> I've got a five meter browning drag and net um, pole or whip well, I suppose it is a pole um, you can fish it at four meters or five meters um, and it's got the top kit there with the puller on the rubber and I'm just going to be using one of these Drenon margin carp ready-made rigs, you know, £4.50, because it's pretty shallow here. Um, and yeah, we'll get it well, just It's just a case of hooking that on the end of the uh, pole. Just, if you've got a loop in it, and that goes on your elastic clips on there. And then get the plummet and uh, check the depth. It's pretty shallow here, um, although we've had a lot of rain so it is nice and high at the moment. In the summer it does get pretty low. When I first came here you, you can actually see the fish swimming around in there. And some more people turning up. Right, plumb it on. Let's see how deep we're looking. I'm gonna fish five meters out. all the way <laughs> don't know 
if this is that. This might actually be plumbed up to depth there. Might just move it up just a fraction, I think. Okay, let's have a look at bait. So I've got the um, classic tin of sweet corn, which I think I'm going to start off with. I've also got some um, pellets in this. Fujukas, Fukas, <laughs> whatever they're called. A couple of different colours of those. Um, those are quite good because you can like mash them up and roll them like a, a bit like a maggot. Or if it gets bad, I can go and buy it. They sell maggots here as well, which do work pretty well here. But often corn can do good. So let's try a can of sweet corn to start. We'll see how we get on with that. Okay, first cast of the day. Let's put a little bit of corn in. See if we can attract some fishes. Oh, bind. First fish on. Excellent. This is what I like. Well, that's a good start. He's putting up a good fight as well. Very good fight. Feels like a decent sized fish. He's not wanting to come in. <laughs> come on, let's see ya. This feels like a nice sized fish. Can't get him up in the water. Take your time, let him fight it out. Sooner or later, he'll come up. So, we don't want to lose him, even though he's doing his best to get away. We want to see him.
Come on, sorry. Get out from under there. I might have to put the section on. Let's let him have a little, a little run round. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, there. Oh, <laughs> it's better be a big fish for the amount of fight this is giving. Oh, there he is. A lot of fight in this fish. <laughs> Crikey. He does not want to try this one. There we come. Come on, baby. Come on. Wow. Sweet corn works. All this pieces of corn are confined, and uh, looking at plenty of the hook showing. Let's get it back out there. A little one. <laughs> oh, little baby. <laughs> well, not baby, but what is it? A roach, is it? Or is it bream? A little bream, is it? As you can see, you catch all sorts in here. Second fish of the day in a few minutes. Oh, After a flying start today. We have a section of a pole in the water then. Oh, it looks the same as the one before. You're not the same one, are you? A little bit bigger, maybe.
those bream do that, you think they sort of play dead. <laughs> Slimy buggers. Hmm, I think that might be deserve a coffee. I think the spermus flask has to like it's one of the best inventions of all time. And that, that coffee is still near enough. Well, it's boiling hot still. I have to let that cool down before I can drink it. And it'd be like that all day. I use it all the time. This is the life. Cheers. <laughs> let me know if you're liking the fishing videos. Um, I will be back very soon with camping videos. I'm thinking maybe next week. I did say that last week, but um, the weather's been bad this week and didn't get a chance. Um, but I'm working up sort of North London next week, so I'm thinking about, um, I was going to book a hotel and I was like, well, why don't I just go camping? So I'm going to have a look, see if I can find a campsite up that neck of the woods. Um, yeah, if you're not already, please hit like and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. Um, I uploaded a delivery video the other day, um, or a couple of delivery videos the other day as well. So yeah, lots of videos coming up. Um, let me know if there's anywhere you want me to see, see me go fishing. I'm looking for campsites with fisheries as well, like love going um, fishing whilst I'm camping. Well, you know what they say in fishing, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So all the time you're catching, keep things exactly the same as they are. So I'm just looking for a smallish piece of corn. Is that too small? Be. Or just the right one. Let's try it. See? Oh, is that a bite? Yes. No. Shit, missed it. <laughs> Probably a bit aggressive there. Okay, have some food. I'm not convinced about this piece of sweet corn. I think I might try a different bit of corn. Let's try one of these pink pet oh, that's probably why I'm not catching. I've got a bit of weed on it, it doesn't look very nice, does it? Yes, I told you. I knew a baby one, but I told you I was going to catch one straight away. <laughs> Little roach. Sometimes it's fun just catching little ones. They're quick and easy. Off you go. Don't even need to replace the corn, but I will do. Yeah, another carp just coming to the surface there. So the bait's attracting them. Yep, nice one. That's a little bit of a bigger fish. Yeah, it's a carp. And he's not going up. 
looks very much of a fight. Oh, foul hooked him. Come here, Mr. Carpe. Come here, I'll get you off straight away. Just got him on the side of the fin. Oh, it's come out already. There we go. We'll let him straight, straight away without even having to bring the hook in that. There we go. Well, that was easy. Does that count as a catch? <laughs> yeah, I think so. There's a lot of carp in the area, but it's got a little one. Not a carp. A roach, I don't think. Oh, and we lost him. Oh no. Difficult. That was on the uh, pink one. I think we might get away with that again. Let's take that straight out again. Yes, at last. That reasonable size, is it? Definitely think it's a carp. Yeah. Well, there's the carp. Back. Little pip. And with that, I think it's lunchtime. So this is the big lake. Just very nice. I would like to fish it one day. There's a few on here today. So I've decided to come for a little walk and see the Pamela's Lake. Which is supposed to be the lake for um, kids to fish on, which is really easy to catch on apparently. It's lovely up here, I've never been up this bit. This looks great. To the other side as well. So they don't actually have sort of pegs here as such, just fish off the bank. It reminds me of when I was a kid, I grew up in Northamptonshire and I used to go to a um, commercial fishery in Never Hayford. And uh, it's exactly the same as this. They had a small lake like this for the kids. Snake lake like this one. A big um, carp lake like that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> reminds me of it. But apparently I've heard the one in Never Hayford's closed down at the moment. Is anybody local to Northampton? Let me know. Today I've got, as always, my trusty heel. Yes. Are you done? <laughs> it's also the time of year for the spring. I like that, you can make it look like a maggot. Is that taking it? Is that something on it? Yeah, that's a little one. <laughs> They're getting smaller. That's got to have been a big, big bait for that to have eaten. Top there. Right. I wonder if I could just 
tempt him with that. I'd done that with that over his head. Is he going to take it? Oh, that would have been good, wouldn't it? He's still there. If you can see that on the camera. I wonder if we could get him to take it off the top. Hang on, Mr. Carl. I've got him. Yes, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. That's hilarious. I'll take him back. Thank you, Mr. Carp. It's nice to see you. Off he goes. Looks like he wanted to come in that one. We hooked one again. Got to be a carp. Hmm. He's really pulling the elastic out the end there. Let's see. Yeah. Uh... I don't know what the biggest carp is in there. Let me know in the comments if you. Um, Passy's pond on the match lake, what's the, what the biggest carp you've caught is. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you beauty. That's why I like carp, because they're the best looking fish. Another little one. That's another little one. Seems like the little ones seem to go for the pink ones. Scorcher for this one. Okay. He went like a rocket. Nice looking carp. Lovely golden colour. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's unclocked himself. Just need to stop wriggling this bit. How's she going to hook me?
actually turning into a lovely day today. Uh, weather's not too bad. It's not supposed to be any rain forecast, but the sun even has come out a little bit. Don't know what's going on down there. I think they must have lambing or something going on at the farm because I've heard a lot of kids and a lot of cars coming in the car park and then coming fishing. Um, so there must be something going on over there. Sometimes in the summer as well, they have like a maze, maze or a maze made out of maze um, that they do just over there. And they also do like pumpkins and um, I have a few things going on down there. Um, so yeah, this is Passy's. I highly recommend coming here. Um, it gets criticised a little bit for the facilities, like if you're expecting um, elaborate toilets and showers and uh, state-of-the-art um, cafe and uh, tackle shop and all that, you're not going to get that here. Um, it's a proper old school sort of place, which I like. Um, but yes, yeah, it's good, good days fishing. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to have this. Um, catch a couple more and then go home I think so thank you so much for watching um, as always please hit like and subscribe let me know if you like the fishing video uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see and I shall see you very soon with some more videos cheers lovely